Today's video, we're gonna be going over this BR function on the shift knob. Essentially, what does it do? How it affects your mileage or your range? And lastly, how it directly impacts the regen function in your batteries so you can get more charge within a sh the same distance as you would if you were just to lay off on the brakes or lay off on the on the gas all right so currently i'm at the top of a pretty big hill in my neighborhood and uh we're gonna see i want you to pay attention to this eco power charge uh kind of diagram status as we go down this hill so i'm gonna gas it currently you'll see that it's currently using energy and as we go down this hill get up to the speed limit I'm gonna lay off the gas now. And you can see, look at that charge bar. I want you to pay attention to that. And then once I hit the BR function now, you can see that charge bar slightly increase. And it'll indicate that you are using that BR function on the right hand side. That BR will show up green. And as you coast, it will be stronger in regenerative braking. Um, and pumping more battery into, or pumping more um, energy into the battery. And then, so this, the car naturally will do this, any electric vehicle will, um, but you can use this not only on a hill, which Toyota does advertise, it's, it's to mimic engine braking on a traditional petrol car, but um, you can use this to your day-to-day -day driving, um, when you're on the local streets, even if it's flat, if you're anticipating a, or if you see a, um, if you see a light coming up, like a red light coming up and there's no one behind you, you can just put that down and it'll start being more aggressive and regenerative braking and putting more energy back into the battery. That'll hopefully give you a little more range or be a little bit more, um, won't give you range, but it'll preserve range, I think is the best way to put it. But yeah, so in day-to-day -day driving, you can use this not just for the hills, but um, even if you don't utilize this, you feel nervous tapping this while you're driving, um, the car, like any EV, will naturally do this for you. One thing to note that not a lot of people mention is once you're at capacity, so essentially the batteries can't take any more charge, um, the regenerative braking significantly lays up um, because obviously it doesn't need to generate that much electricity anymore. Um, so that there's no warning when it comes to that. Um, if you have this diagram up while you're driving, you could kind of get a sense of when that's gonna happen. But um, whenever you're going downhill and you are using that BR function, um, there will be a let up period after the batteries have been um, up to a certain point of charge, which seems to be right at that last bar. It doesn't turn completely blue, but like with one empty um, shelf left, it'll lay up on its um, regenerative braking. So just be aware of that. I don't think it'll affect your day-to-day -day driving that much, but something to be aware of, just say if uh, brake BR is, the engine braking is keeping you at just say 50 miles an hour on the way down the hill. Once that battery is at capacity you might go up to maybe 60 miles an hour something like that so just something to keep in mind um, that once the BR function has fully uh, charged the battery it's not going to maintain that level of resistance essentially in real time accelerating lay off the gas then just tap it downward that's how you do it and then once you start accelerating again, it'll automatically turn off and you'll lose the BR symbol on the dash. Once you want to engage it again, that's it. 